Kawaro, Maganaka, Sarut Kusama. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us as we pause for a moment's silence to remember one of rugby's greatest scrum halves, Joost van der Westhuizen, who passed away earlier this week after a long battle of illness. The South African won 89 caps for his country, scoring 190 points, including 38 tries before he retired in 2003. He competed in three World Cups, played a backdoor role in his country's historic 1995 World Cup final victory over New Zealand. Wales head coach Rob Howley, who was his main hunting company, said he was the best scrum half he could ever play against. Most and the rest of his passed away at the age of just 45 on Monday, the 6th of February. Please join us now as we reflect. In silence and show our respect to a true legend of our great game. Deal. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the singing of the English National Anthem. in the afternoon of the second weekend of the Six Nations of 2017. Alan Wynne-Jones, the Welsh captain, bellows out the anthem. The props that came on as replacements against Italy start for Wales against England. Rob Evans and Thomas Francis for Nicky Smith and Samson Lee, who go to the bench. 
George North, a late withdrawal. Alex Cuthbert on the right wing. Dan Bigger has recovered from a bruised rib to partner Reese Webb as the halfbacks. One change in the England starting pack. Jack Clifford in the back row for Tom Wood, who starts on the bench. The back row has only 20 caps in all against Wales' 130. Jack Noll starts on the wing for England. Johnny May goes to the bench. England a little slow out of the blocks in game one. They'll be looking for more speed everywhere. So Lupe Falatao returns to the Wales squad. He's been out with a knee injury. Ben Teo came off the England bench to score the winner against France. Jérôme Garcès of France will be in charge today. He will be a busy man. Referees always are nowadays, but with new protocols, new directives, their role becomes ever more important. And on such a day as this, he is going to be such a figure. Dan Bigger over his injury. Toji, Jack Clifford, in white. youngsters in the England back in row. White. It's Wales against England in Cardiff. It's OJ goes up, claims for England. Inside. Ross Moriarty brings the England back rower down. No, stay, night, night. Ben Youngs. Towards Dan Bigger. Scott Williams. Jake Ball from the second row. Itoje and Clifford tackle as a six and seven combination. Alan Wynne Jones in midfield gets over the halfway line. Bigger, half penny. Jonathan Davis stays away from the touchline. Sam Warburton. Moriarty. Justin Tipperick finding space as a wing forward in the wide channels. Jake Ball. Good tackle by Dylan Hartley. Moriarty. Good tackle on him by Courtney Laws. Wales have the penalty. A couple of things there. First, first thing, good refereeing by Rhys Webb, saying he's not rolling away. But the two things, England didn't commit hardly anyone to the tackle area, and the two ball carriers targeted at George Ford. That should be the target. George Ford, run at him all day, tire him out so when he gets the ball, and you're, offensively, you know, he won't be so effective. Well, this penalty is what they call a coach killer because it's been given away on the 10-metre line when there was no really imminent threat no need to hang around on the floor players know that if they don't get out of the way of the receiving player then penal penalties are going to come because referees are very hot on that unnecessary and England would have been happy with that boys because you know Wales didn't penetrate that 10 metre line the defence was good and then a penalty given away though Red. Lee Halfpenny just needs five more points to pass the 300 point mark in the Six Nations. He's, he's passed 500 in general, but in the Six Nations, this to move to 298. He likes it, couldn't be straighter. Wales take an early lead in the Principality Stadium. Cuthbert under pressure from Elliot Daly. I thought he was taking in the air there. Warburton. Yes! 
Joe Marler, seven, seven. Courtney Laws, the tacklers, oh, charge down for Reese Webb. Itoji takes it, gets the ball away to Daly. Here's Jack Clifford taking the ball from Owen Farrell. Farrell goes in to try and release it. Ben Youngs to Joe Launchbury. Nathan Hughes. Oh. Jack Knoll into the Welsh 22. Jonathan Joseph goes to scrum half and feeds Dan Cole. Back. Joe Marler. Yes, have repulsed England back off the 22, but here come England well into the Wales 22 now through Jonathan Joseph. Hartley on the short ball, robbed by Dan Bigger. Brilliant bit of stripping of the ball by the Welsh number 10. Rhys Webb has time to clear, not to touch, just into the England half. Jack Knoll. Moriarty and Ken Owens with the tackles. Mala. Nathan Hughes knocks on. Tipper has a chance to launch a counter. Half penny puts a boot to it. Was that an advantage? Looks pretty good. Back goes Jack Clifford. In touch. Well, that's a tremendous kick. But it was made possible by good robbing work by Dan Bigger. Ball went wide and the pass on force for England for Jonathan Joseph was knocked to hand because had it been was a two on one. There's the tackle, it's a great hit. He didn't he lost the ball, but England won't be happy. They've made two handling errors which have forced we'll put them back into this position. So two errors, but uh you know, they're very effective. Courtney Laws catches from Dylan Hartley. Ben Youngs waits patiently behind the advancing Maul and is quite happy after such a line-out to go direct to touch. He's going to be a key man today. I think he puts the tempo into the game and then when he kind of peters out a little bit, they put Dan, Danny Kerr on. So, you know, look at the distribution. He's looking all the time. All the runners are coming off Ben Youngs. Great, great defence, though. Come shield out as well. Clean ball down to Reese Webb. Scott Williams cuts inside, makes ground. Advantage to England being played, and it's turned into a penalty to England. Scott Williams in some discomfort there. That's a shame for Wales because the gap had opened up and had the ball gone to hand. Well in behind the England defence, not to be. And England have their first uh, real opportunity in Welsh territory. Yeah. Good feet by Scott Williams, spotted. Hughes cut inside him. Joe Launchbury goes up, down to Youngs. Forward. Nathan Hughes against Tipperick. Hughes makes half a yard. Green ball! Laws. Ford, Hughes, Reese Webb with an important tackle on the big number eight. Launchbury. No. Half through the tackle. England with perhaps numbers out here. Crucial tackle. Numbers on the outside by Jonathan Davis. Edwin Jones has stolen the ball for Wales. They were facing. A horrible overlap against them. They turned the ball over. Moriarty comes away with it. Back. Back. Dan Bigger to Mike Brown. Tackled by Rob Evans. 
Launch brief. Tackled by Ken Owens Back. and fellow Scarlet Justin. <laughs> it's not so fellow Scarlet at all. Here's Jack Knoll. The high tackle could be, I think. Youngs puts it towards half ben uh, half Benny. Brilliant dive. Catching in the gully. But back to the high tackle. England with the penalty. This is going to be one of the ones that uh, looks fairly ubiquitous because I think he's on the way down. No, he wasn't on the way down, it was a high tackle. But earlier on, when England had a 4 to 2, the Welsh defenders on the blind side did well because they had to guess. Did they come up quickly and miss the ball going out wide over the top? Only hang back and drift. They chose to come forward. That created a situation where England went back inside and then Alan Wynne Jones with a rob got them out of trouble. I think the worry for Wales in that instance was the way they drained quick ball, the big ball carriers. The recycling was very, very quick and desperate defence because they'd created the overlap on the right hand side. And if the ball had gone out quickly, they were over. I think Ford just checked, stepped inside, and the opportunity was missed. Do you think it's been a ploy for the Welsh clearers, Bigger and uh, Reese Evans, not Reese Webber, uh, not to make touch? I'm not sure. Well, England are going to counter that because the kicks have got to be very, very good because England looked like coming to play. Owen Farrell to level the scores. Three apiece in Cardiff. Well, England managing to do what they didn't do against France, which was make ground after the initial contact on the game line, and that's making all the difference. Dan Bigger has split the forwards, as he did against... It's Lena Kiz, Etoje Waits goes backwards, catches safely. Another penalty against Wales. Again, another completely unnecessary one. They're not going to drive for more than five yards because they're going to be outside the 22. They would have to clear for touch of their exit strategy, and all they've done now with Wales is giving them the advantage of the throw should this uh, you know, be kicked out. Dylan Hartley, the England captain. Joe Launchbury, their second row. Nathan Hughes, number eight. Yeah, it's good angles. Farrell. <laughs> Penalty advantage. <laughs> Courtney Laws Penalty. comes away with it. Ford, Joseph. <laughs> Good pick up George Ford. Change of style, no advantage. That went straight out. We'll go back to the penalty offside at the ruck. I'll tell you that was a lovely break, but just watch this. It's the change of angle. He steps inside. Because of the forwards either side of George Ford, it's very difficult to pick up. There's the offside. He's not behind the last last foot. But there's so many runners outside George Ford. He just picks the right one, and at that angle, he just runs the inside shoulder on Dan Bigger. Change of kicker. There's George oh, yeah. Ford, who is... Uh, well, he's not required as a place kicker for the moment. Elliot Daly, left footer. <laughs> Lovely left foot, you know, anything uh, near the 48, 50 mark, he steps up, but you know, it'll be interesting to see Mike Brown's been a great serve for English rugby. But is this the next English fullback? I think left foot did. Well, he's a very intelligent player. He is. I've seen him in a club game kick from 58 metres, so.
Elliot Daly, distance, no problem, direction. Just uh, not good. Give it too much welly, I think, and you, you just hook it then, don't you? Not bad, but not good enough. We are all square. Well, I've got to try and get a bit of momentum back here, you know, keep possession, go through the phases. At the moment, England just on top. Dan Bigger long into the England half. Ben Youngs. Nathan Hughes goes past Rob Evans. Beautiful hands, Mike Brown. Scott Williams gets back, makes the tackle when again England seem to have an overlap out there. Ball has gone backwards, says the referee. Looks to his touch judge to see if it. Was a knock on? It's Play on it's is the order. Launch break. Leave it! Moriarty with the tackle. Ford. Big Nathan Hughes. Itoji. Hughes again. Rob Evans makes the tackle. Toji, little show and go. Somebody crossing in front of him. Play on. Launchbury again. Tipperick tries to hold him up, strip the ball. Ruck, ruck. It's okay, gone good. into a ruck. Everybody lets go. Jonathan Joseph, England, back, back, back. 10 metres out. Ford. No. Ford again, on his own, driven back by Ken Owens. Hartley. Laws. Tipperick again, trying to strip the ball. England still have it. Itoji, driven backwards, Jake Ball. Part of the two-man hit. Long it goes, Daly cuts inside. Good tackle. Play on, no high tackle. Brown, Ford, Hughes. Ford, launch breeze. Wales fully stretched, trying to cover the gaps. Ford to Itoji. Oh. Half penny with a brilliant try saving tackle. But still, England thunder at the Welsh line through Joe Launchbury. They need to put width on this to England. Ben Youngs calls more players in. Hughes. The short outright, the short will, so a bit of width. There's a huge gap on the left hand side here, if England recognise it. It's slow ball, but it's still there for England. Ben Youngs tries to burrow. Itoji can't make it. Nathan Hughes can't make it. He's a yard further back now. Wales try to catch that. England still have it. Now they give it width. Jonathan Joseph long. Half penny against Daly. Makes the tackle. But here comes Mike Brown. Welsh defence still holding out until now. I tell you what, that was fantastic sustained pressure with a variety of their attack. George Ford, his little late passes about creating harbour, is getting runners over the gain line, they got close, and then they kept the pressure on, put width in it. Ben Young's the last man up. Here's his finish, Brian. Yeah, well, the ball could have gone earlier, but you see the difficulty of the Welsh defenders, they're outnumbered. And England eventually moved the ball wide, they made hard work of it, but they went over the line and kept patient. And the difficulty for Wales at the moment is they are not able to stop the ball at source, they're not able to slow the ball down, and England are getting successfully quick ball, and any defence is going to struggle when that happens, and Wales indeed did. That's an easy finish for Ben Young, just watch. 
he props it down, but they've been so powerful up front, they've drawn, they've dragged Welsh players in and they've had numbers on the left. And then when the numbers left that ruck area, not enough numbers, Ben Youngs pops up and scored. England in the lead, but they can't add the two points. Wales three, England eight with the first try of the game. Well, England have left five points off the board uh, from the boot, and their fans will be hoping that that doesn't count. I tell you what's been impressive, Virgil, you think. The variety of, 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 of force distribution, the delays in the pass, yeah. some flat, some wider, keeping defenders guessing. I think, I think George Ford... Mike Brown waits, sets off, beats Cuthbert. Rob Evans, the prop, makes the tackle. Stay back. Ben Youngs, down towards Lee Halfpenny. Was it touched in flight? There is a different tactic, isn't it? You know, they're clearing out no. and then going to, to the touchline. The and they're confident in the defence. OK, come at us from a set piece. Whereas Wales aren't maybe kicking Mark. into touch. Looking well, I to... can see their possession. Oh. And to, it's what you said. Scott Williams does make some ground. Ken Owens, bigger. Jonathan Davis, Lee Halfpenny. Liam Williams, a first touch of the ball for Williams, and he's away. This time it's Wales in the England 22. Warburton, the direct route. Webb, the right. bigger. Tipperick. It's there for Webb. Bigger. Ross Moriarty. Jake Ball against the Toji. Still there for Wales. Rob Evans. Bigger. Thought about the kick. Dummied it. That's a lot better from Wales. Very quick recycling now. This is slow. They'll have to generate a quicker ball. Tipperick to Rob Evans. Tipperick again. Slightly on his own, Joe Launchbury over the ball. On the red side. It's a free play now, it's a penalty. Wales earned the penalty. That's a lot better you from should, Wales. You are off it. Quick ball for both sides, and you don't stay in the opposite side to block the player. I don't think he understood much of that, to be honest, Allah. But uh, I just feel that was a lot better from Wales. They took the ball into contact, they cleaned out, and the ball went wide. They looked a lot sharper then. But the one difference is for me at the moment, the width. England keep their width. And with the, like the two-phase attack with George Ford, he, is, he has been the big difference so far, George Ford. His distribution has been brilliant. But Wales take the three points. Back to two point game. I see Lonsbury is initially on his feet and then he's not anymore. And that's simply a question of discipline. You know when you've got a decent purchase and you know when you haven't. Brings Wales to win two points of England. Wales six, England eight. Well, it's a very, very good game at the moment. I think they've both come to play. Everyone's enjoying it. Wales six, England eight. George Ford won for Elliot Daly to chase. Straight out, was it? A lot of questions Sorry. being asked. Did Daly get a touch? Straight out. Option for you, scrum or out? Good try. Yeah. On the try line. <laughs> yeah, it was touched, wasn't it? I believe. Look. It was touched. Elliot Daly. Yes. Just got his hand. 
That's very good play by Elliot Daly. Otherwise, it's a scrum on the halfway line. They win it. They put England into the 22. So good play by this man there. You remember? Yes. Well, this is the first scrum, and England suffered a bit against France. Wells have been very steady. Rock solid. Ross Moriarty picks the ball out of a scrum that had gone down. No! No! Well, no, no. No, no. Oh, brilliantly read by Jonathan Davis on Mike Brown. That wasn't a knock-on, and there's no advantage to Wales. It's a, it's a let-off for England. He did well there, Mike Brown, under all our pressure. Wales with a player down. Half penny weights. Catches cleanly. Jack Clifford and Itoji with the follow-up tackle. The here. Ken Owens looked in pain, but he's, he's up and about. Just in Tipperick, meanwhile. Ken Owens back in the Welsh line. Don't try to win a penalty. Webb from slow ball. Cuthbert sets off in pursuit. It's there. Down bigger. Himself to chase. Jack Noel is back for England. No. Tackle by bigger. No. Up. Oh. Wales arrive, two metres from the England line. Well, it's brilliant by Noel to save the day. Youngs to Hughes, Kennels with the tackle. Ben Youngs has to clear, has to find touch. Wales with an attacking throw in the 22. Well, Noel did extremely well because not only did he feel the ball, he got back to his feet, which gave supporting players time to come back and secure it. He was, you know, it's a good chase by Cuthbert. The ball bounced favourably for Dan Bigger. He's isolated, he had no options, he had to go for it, but Noel is always going to win that race. But watch them, they go in, browned as well. Was that a knock on? I don't think the ball went forward, so this is on. He had no option, he didn't look to find anyone because he was on his own. Was Jack Noel not tackled there? Can no. he get back straight well, back to his go. feet? Well, he's let go. Yeah, I don't think the tack, the tack, he can get up on his feet. But that's great play. Mike Brown is in there. You know, he holds Sam Warburton off and they clear the kick. I thought it was such a fast first 26 minutes. There are going to be some tired legs out there and the gaps are going to open up in the last 10 minutes of this game. And it's all where you play this last 10 minutes of the game, first half. Ken Owens with the throw, Wales. In the England 22, Sam Warburton wins it. Here for Reese Webb. Driven up. Not the quickest ball. Reese Webb. Ross Moriarty delivers. Alan Wynne Jones, the captain. Tucker, release! Right, okay. Bigger, short to Jonathan Davis. Webb. Ken Owens steps inside Maro Itoji. Webb, Warburton, Webb again, bigger, Ross Moriarty. Scott Williams goes on his own. Webb, bigger again. Bigger still going, held up. Now he's on the ground. Webb. And then with Jones stretches, one metre short. Which way for Webb? Left or right? Left on his own! Play on! <laughs> England have won it illegally. Penalty to Wales. He said he was short. No, he's short. It's good short. confident refereeing, isn't it? You're trying. I think he's on the line. I will have a look. Well done, referee. May as well have a look. Well, you would ask this. You would ask this from Arthur if he scored. He is going to say yes. I'm telling you. Then, yeah, I'm here to run. In life for me, the number nine.
try to put the ball on the line, but he's for me short on the line. He's short in line. But have a look about, please. OK, we're checking footage to see if the ball was grounded. You know, if the referee is sure he was short, he should just carry on. Maybe he's not quite so sure, Brian. Well, Brian, if the scrum half says he thinks he scored, just to... You can't see it from there. Oh, short. This is the angle, is it? Short. Well, short. Well done. Well done, referee. I don't never trust the scrum half, see. Joy Maidia. Yeah, Glenn. Yes, for me, it's what I saw online. In line. Short. Sure. Yes, that is short, yes. And after, there is a turnover on the ground by White. Yes. When you over the rug, you win the ball. TMO, Glenn Newman of New Zealand. Now then, what do Wales do? Do they just hand the ball to Lee Halfpenny? 9-8 would obviously put them in the lead. Dan Bigger gives oh, it to Wales, and Wales are going for the scrimmage. Uh, it's, a, it's a good call. They, they've got, you know, great position. They're on, they're on knee up here, so they're confident they're playing well. Might have gone for the three points. It looks as if they've got, uh, I don't know what, some special set-piece move here. A lot of chat amongst the backs. Inviting blindside to... The other consideration is... George so Ford kick and Elliot Daly covering it for the moment. to England. Dan Cole just getting forward. And that is a... the pressure. That's the problem when you don't hook the ball. You can't clear it unless you go forward. Under pressure, yeah. You cannot support the pressure. You go on the ground. The tight end was okay. That's a... That's one for the English pack. Yeah, for me in this game, I, you know, I'd, I'd always take the points. I would have always. It's taken always the points. Uh, look. It, it, it's not as if you haven't got very reliable kickers as well. Yeah. See, when the ball's not hooked, it's still in the middle there, still there. England going forward. It's the end of the pressure. Number eight, six. Jack Clifford shows what it means to win that penalty. Nathan Hughes back to Ben Yance. Hasn't gone that far. Somebody has to claim it. Penalty to Wales. Dan Cole kicks the ball away. I didn't really understand it. Like, you know, he stands so far back when he's kicking it. The back line had encroached, they were offside, the forwards were in front of him. You know, they were so far in front, it was so difficult to hold your run for the English forwards when you're, you're so far back from the, you know, from the, the, the line out. The decision this time, Lee Halfpenny not called up, Dan Bigger does the old banana kick down the line. Well, I must admit, I'm, I'm, I'm puzzled by that. He's definitely kickable. Two kickable penalties. Six points, probably guaranteed. Ken Owens, the line-out is still in the England 22. It's won by Warburton. Lost it, yeah. Knock on by Wales at the well, ball. It's not going Wales' way at the moment, and it's congratulations done. being passed around the England forwards. Well, whatever option you uh, take, if you don't execute it properly, it turns out to be the wrong one. And Rob Howley will be frustrated. Yeah. In a game that's likely to come down to a single score, I think if you have penalty opportunities, you've got to take them. They've got one of the best kickers in the world. I would, I would have taken one of those penalties, yes. Ben Young's lets Nathan Hughes take control at the scrimmage. Ball out, referee holds his arms out. Oh, England have the put in. You see the difference there, you know, you, you two forwards. The strike of the ball from Hartley, how quick it got to the number eight's feet. 
without Tipperick was still down. He was still down. Easy yardage. But with it, move, with Wales, the strike work. wasn't there. The player cannot move, so scrum right. Well, that says it all. Look at the tackles the made. Was a good scrum. Wales have really good made 81 tackles at England's 38. Just says the amount of possession that England have had, you know. Where it's a good, it's a good response for Wales to come back and put pressure. That's what they needed. Get the ball recycled, keep possession. Hughes comes away, tackled by Tipperick. Wales Turn have turned the ball over. Ken Owens feeds down bigger. Alex Cuthbert. He's seen very little of the ball. Sets it up. And watches as Webb passes to Warburton. Rob Evans. Bigger. Jonathan Davis. Tipperick. Liam Williams. Chuck Noll did very well, picked him up and made sure he didn't drop him. Rob Evans, the prop. Webb waits. Bigger. Alan Wynne Jones. Rides the first tackle. Wales will have to finish one of these attacks. It's there for Webb. Jake Ball. Warburton tries to twist and turn away from the ruck. Ross Moriarty. Alan Wynne Jones over the ball. Webb again. Ken Owens lays it back. You lose it too. You lose it. Still through the forwards, the captain and his second row partner, Jake Ball. Away, fight. Ross Moriarty. Good tackle by Joe Marlow. Bigger. Scott Williams. No, quick, 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 quick. And it Jones. Knocks it on. He's offside, Ben Youngs. Clearly offside. Nothing spotted, nothing given. England put in at the scrum. Surely that pass wasn't meant for Alan Wynne Jones. Well, Wells getting a successively quick ball, but not able to get over the line. Good. And one of the problems, I think, that they are. He's got to be offside. Watch this now, Brian. What? He's got to come round. He's offside, clearly offside. You know, that should have been picked up. For me, that's. Uh, we yeah, have got to have someone quicker. who's going to step and beat when the first tackle. The England defence like is so well organised and so disciplined, they're not creating any numbers. Ben Young's got away with it. That's all that yeah, matters yeah, for him. The scrum is OK. Happy, uh, take dead, coming in a little bit possibly, but all right. England lead by two points. Jérôme yeah, Garcès. Listening yeah, to Alan Wynne Jones. Yeah, have a look. I have a look, but it's not clear and obvious for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what I said to Bian, and it's said to you. If I give you a call, respond to my call. To have the tempo. He yeah, actually isn't offside. Can't he's right not that. offside. He's not. No. <laughs> sure the boys love looking after him. Ben Youngs has a chance to clear the England lines. First of all, the put into the scrum. It's a great tackle, isn't it? The scrum shifts, moves. Under pressure, referee will order a reset. 
John, when Wells move the ball wide, what I don't see, which I do see in a lot of other attacks, a lot of players holding, you know, options left and right to make defenders have doubt about where the ball's going to go into contact. They're making ground because they're powerful in going forward, but it's with little subtlety or guile. There's no, there's no, there's no deafness of pass at the moment, you know, no variety in the pass. There's no second phase coming behind the players. Ben Youngs feeds the England side of the scrum. The England scrum holds firm, turns a little bit, but away comes Nathan Hughes. Liam Williams gets back to his left wing position, wearing 11. Then drops back as Ben Youngs prepares the kick. Charge down. A knock on. Advantage being played, only a knock on by Joe Mahler. That's good pressure by all the Welsh players. Again, it's a very good run by Nathan Hughes, but they hold him up. They doesn't give Ben Youngs much option from the, the base of the ruck, but it's good, good pressure. Just watch this. There's the knock on. The mark is here. The only difference so far Ed, is the fact that they are, England have made scored a try on their pressure. Wales need to get something from this pressure. Good scrum, guys. Don't move your feet. A quiet word. Reese Webb to Liam Williams. Cross. The louder instructions. Of Jérôme Garces. Don't move your feet. Don't move your feet. Can Wales turn pressure into points? Yes. Liam Williams can! Wales score! And take the lead! With just over two minutes to go at the end of the first half. Well, you can see their first difference. Wales struck the ball, they've got great to the back of the scrub. England's back to have to stay down. And Liam Wynn's taking a good line. Initial surge in, angle in towards the England line, kept the England defence straight. That's a great dummy run. Faz has held up. Scott Williams wears 12 as the dummy runner, and it opens up for Liam Williams. And the conversion is good from Lee Halfpenny. And Wales are in the lead by 13 points to eight. Well, it was straight off the training ground. Yeah, just watch this now. This is the player, OK? Just watch. He is held up, OK? Hang on, this player is held up there. So what's going to happen then is this guy is going to take it in there and he's going to go in there. Go. Cuthbert with the catch just outside his 22. Tipper it with dummy, which doesn't really get him more than a metre beyond the Wales 22. Outside, Jerome Garces tells Rhys Webb he'll keep it in play. Mike Brown waits. Scott Williams arrives. England fullback to ground. Hartley, the captain, thumping tackle from Ross Moriarty. It's there for England. Nathan Hughes inside to Jack Clifford, who is forced back and is ripped off him. It bounces kindly for England. They're back in possession. Launchbury. Alan Wynne Jones with a tackle. Jake Ball there too. It's all about second rows. Just a few seconds left to go at the end of the first half. Nathan Hughes. George Ford, high, not very far. Brilliantly taken, or was it? No, advantage being played. Liam Williams takes it. First half has gone into overtime. Jerome Garces puts an end to the opening period. Oh, it's been 40 minutes of excitement. And at the end of it, Wales lead by 13 points to eight.
George Ford starts the second half. England trailing by five. Alex Cuthbert on the ball, driven back into his 22 by Maro Itoji. There for Reese Webb, though. Ken Owens. Dan Bigger, straight behind Reese Webb. Stay, stay, stay. Nathan Hughes, waiting for just such a kick. Courtney Laws. Turnover. Justin Tipperick has it. Advantage Wales. Warburton. Dan Bigger. Scott Williams. Elliot Daly heads back. Feeds George Ford. Mike Brown. England back in numbers. Brown beats Scott Williams. That's an excellent follow up. Tackle by Reese Webb. Still England though. Ford, Daly. Ken Owens did well to stop the England okay. left wing flyer. Ben Youngs to Dan Bigger. No, oh, brilliantly manufactured that kick by Dan Bigger. It's fine. So that kick off the outside of the boot. It's tremendous. You can see the way the ball was spinning. Well, is this late or not? It's a, it's, it's a beautiful kick. But uh, Moriarty had a shot on Farrell. There was a few uh, the timing is complaints. The timing but, um, is I think this is uh, my show from here. Just watch, he gets a little pass. There we go, just watch. That's late. That is late, yeah. Can't help it, that is late. It's a great tackle if it was a bit earlier, but of course he's not. The referee's not going to go to TMO, he thinks that's fine. Didn't complain fast. That's what I like about some of these players. He actually took, he got nailed in this kid, and he just didn't mourn at all. He's having a wry smile now. I tell you what, smile and a cough, and off he goes. I've seen their dads have the same tussle, the Farrell and the Moriarty. Gordy Laws with the catch and the England eight put in a drive just to issue a reminder. A statement of authority. They'll do well to scrape this back, though. Youngs towards Cuthbert. Dear Dan Bigger can't take it. A rare misjudgment by Dan Bigger in the air. Play on, says the referee, though. Moriarty. Good counter rucking by Itoji. There for Webb. That's and enough time. Reese Webb has knocked it on. Uh, Itoji did well, didn't he, Eddie? The Saw the ball on the floor. The player is offside. That's the anti scrub. Makes the ground. There's a knock on. You kick the ball on your setter and you're offside. Oh, that is well late. Well, I'd like to see it at full speed. I still think it's late. He didn't miss, did he? The strike by Dylan Hartley. Nathan Hughes picks up for Youngs. Ford, Joseph, Scott Williams. Dan Bigger goes for that ripping of the ball, but it's it's been knocked on. Play on, says the referee. Courtney Laws delivers the ball to Jack Knoll. Knoll crawling forward. Nathan Hughes hangs on. Ford. Joseph. Joseph suddenly involved, whereas he wasn't quite so involved in the first half. Half penny clears towards Ford. Farrell. No. Alan Wynne Jones holds up the England wing. Rock! Rock, no! Four! Youngs has a little look, finds Ford. 
Scott Williams with a knock on. Deliberate. There is. Oh no, it's just a knock on. Knock on advantage. Knock on advantage. It's Oji. That is a fair tackle by Moriarty. He's done well, Matoji, to get it to launch brief. England, as the game breaks up, it's a very fluid second half. Turnover Wales, Moriarty, Ken Owens. Webb. Out. Rob Evans sends it long, bounces to Jonathan Davis. Davis inside, Courtney Laws, Davis outside to Lee Halfpenny. Beautiful pick up, Reese Webb. <laughs> Forward pass to Dan Bigger, but Wales showing what they can do. The game breaking up. What will this game turn into? Great play by both sides. Good counter attack by Wales. Unfortunately, the ball went forward. But it's a brilliant game so far. Both putting wits on the ball, taking it in. A turnover there, Sam Warburton. But one of the things that Wales are doing well, England taking the ball in, they're keeping the ball high, and they're getting caught up. They can't get the ball to the ground. And they're either being turned over or the ball is slow. This is a great pick-up. Look at that one-handed. Just a pity. From a large point of view, that he couldn't get it flat. Jonathan Davis in full flight, inside, then looks back out. Lee Halfpenny in support. Advantage being played there, the first knock on, and then the blatant forward pass. Oh, but it has potential now. Ben Youngs to feed the scrum. That's the England 22. Good scrummage, England. George Ford. Liam Williams, is he? No, it's gone into the crowd. We'll have a slight pause. He did ask Brian, didn't he, the first couple of minutes? The, the, you see the different tactics where they kick the touch and then they set the defence of England. But as Wales kick and they don't look to seem to they, no, they count on the counter attack. They're deliberately keeping the ball on the field. Jamie George comes on for England's captain Dylan Hartley. 46 minutes on the clock. Eddie Jones, I think Eddie Jones will be worried at the moment. Ken Owens, bit of confusion just in Tipperick. It's there for Webb. <laughs> it's a, I ought to have a conversation at the bottom of a ruck. Reese Webb will kick. Jack too far. Outside is 22. A follow up tackle by Liam Williams, Dan Bigger as well, just arriving to do his little bit. Oh, Nathan Hughes, Moriarty, monster tackle. England have to kick. Webb. Ducks out of a high tackle by George Ford. Wales have an advantage. It's one of the stars of the moment, Ross Moriarty. That's Rhys Webb at the bottom. Bigger for himself. Yeah, he's looked for the penalty, isn't he? He knows the penalty is there waiting. Back they go. There he is, number eight for Wales, Ross Moriarty. Well, he made one late one, but ever since then, Brian, his tackling has been extraordinary. No, it has been tremendous, but if you run what someone straight, yeah, high tackle. If you run someone straight into Moriarty, he's going to do that because he has the capability and the technique. England needs to be cuter, especially with Hughes. They're using him one out. He's had to go to use as a dummy occasionally so the men can run off him. It's very, Billy Vinopola learned that. You can run one out, but people will line you up and they will hit you, and that's exactly what Moriarty is doing. He's doing his job and he's doing it very well. But England need more subtlety when they carry the ball. The home of Welsh Rugby in full cry as Dan Bigger 
looks towards the far corner. The 22 will do just fine for Wales. They'll have the put in at the lineup. England start to ring the changes. The captain has gone. Jamie George is on. James Haskell is now on. Look, they've come on a lot earlier this week, haven't they? They have. The and that shows that Jones thinks yeah. they're needed. Owens throws. Alan Wynne Jones, well taken by Moriarty, well past Moriarty. The try scorer, Liam Williams, twists and turns and delivers for Webb. Alan Wynne Jones, Wales trying to get the passes away, they can't. All of it rushed and frantic there. Well, the thing is, once one player passes the ball in a situation when they're under pressure, it just gets successively worse. You don't improve a bad ball by putting it backwards. Someone's going to take the opportunity and the responsibility. Just keep hold of the ball and carry, carry it forward. Eddie Jones has made his changes early because he's, it's quite apparent that they are needed because Wales are on top at the moment. They started the second half better than England. They just about deserve the lead going in and they deserve to be in front definitely at the moment. Clean strike, Ben Youngs waits, it's Mike Brown this time, his left boot is now required, if that goes straight out, it's a mistake. He was in two minds there, you just watch him because if you watch Reese Webb commits himself to go the wrong way from the scrum defensively, so then he thinks it's on to, it's on to run, Reese Webb readjusts and tries to get out of him, he then kicks it, he just he goes, he goes, and then he kicks it, and then he just slices it off his left foot. Caught in two minds. Mike Brown will go back to fullback and watch this four-man lineup for Wales. Well taken, Jake Ball down to Reese Webb. Jonathan Davis had to juggle, but collected safely. England rush. Moriarty drives, wriggles back on his feet. Play on, says the referee. There's a little bit of off the ball going on. Jamie George and Alan Wynne Jones, Webb! Little gap he sensed. Alan Wynne Jones plays scrum half, bigger. Scott Williams, short to Jonathan Davis, Tipperick over the ball. Alan Wynne Jones waits and waits. Webb arrives. Jake Ball. Tipperick. Bigger. Scott Williams, half penny. Liam Williams into the England 22 and another little wriggle forward. Play on. Ball this time delivers to Tom Francis, who's driven back. Courtney Law is the tackler. Scott Williams cuts back three times. There for Webb. The direct approach by Dan Bigger this time. That's a test of his ribs. It's there safely. Webb just has a little look down the blind side. Only Rob Evans is there. No, he's not. It's Jonathan Davis. Oh, what might have been if Jonathan Davis had clung on. It was a drilled pass. Beautiful pass. He saw the defence had stepped in. It was the right ball. Just watch this. You see his... Three. Three and one. Daly just ball watching. At the moment, the England back row are being soundly beaten by their Welsh counterparts. The triumvirate Tipperick made ground all the time. Ross Moriarty has been powerful. Changes in the Welsh front row. Samson Lee comes on. Nicky Smith comes on. The props are changed. Replace number one, Rob Evans, and number three, Thomas Francis. So that's a big call, isn't it? Tau Lupe Falatau is back in international rugby. The number eight comes on, and it is a big call because Ross Moriarty, the all tackling Ross Moriarty, is going off. <laughs> what do you think, Ed? There's a number eight, you know, he's played so well, isn't he? Falatau's world class, man. We're about to find out. England with a stern 
drive and the penalty advantage. Youngs comes away with it. Daly cuts in field. Haskell with a red scrum cap on his shoulder. Youngs to Ford. Farrell, Joseph. Long to no. No advantage. Back to the penalty. Well, Wells have been in the ascendancy for what? 13 minutes there, not recorded a score. At some point, England will have a period when they put pressure on Wales. Wales really need to register points when they're on top. Farrell takes the kick, and England are in the Welsh half, and they haven't been here much in this second period. <laughs> Such an absorbing test, isn't it? Brilliant test match. Jamie George, Sam Warburton, chief tackler on the Welsh side. J Joe Launchbury wins the ball, and it's the England drive from the line out. Seems to be gathering strength. George. Ken Owens tackles his opposite number. Haskell. Falatau makes his first tackle of the game. More to be made. Solid tackles. Dan Cole takes out Dan Bigger. Legitimately driving into the ruck. Haskell. No ground made. It's loose. Turnover ball. Illegally won by Wales. In from the side. In these situations, in the first half, Wales did not go for points, Brian. Well, if this is converted, it should be, but it's very straight, relatively straightforward. It will mean the first time England have really got into the Welsh half in the second half of this game, they're going to score points. Owen Farrell scores the penalty for England. So having been on the back foot for 15 minutes, England now narrow the gap. Wales 13, England 11. Wales 13, England 11. Dan Bigger. The familiar split of the forwards, high towards Mike Brown. Falatau no. tackles Brown yeah. inside the England 22. It's turnover ball for Wales. Maybe. There for Reese Webb. Scott Williams long to halfpenny, bigger long to Liam Williams. Webb arrives, Alan Wynne-Jones, short to Ken Owens. Owens tried to get the pass out of the tackle, it's a red ball, and away comes Jonathan Davis! The sudden gap open, brilliant pass, Liam Williams! Jack Noel back there, Noel covering the corner, but it's all Wales again for the moment. Webb, Samson Lee, Falatau. Webb has time to look up and find Jake Ball and Owens. Falatau lined up by Haskell. Wales have to regroup a yard further back.
Nicky Smith. Bigger. Scott Williams takes on Farrell and Daly and then goes to ground safely in field. Samson Lee. One. Webb. Bigger. Davis. Alan Wynn Jones. Leave it wide. Tipperick has to lift Nathan Hughes out the way. Falatau spins. Scott Williams. Jake Ball. The crowd in full voice. Long pass to Lee Halfpenny from Bigger. Owens the hooker, driven back. Jamie George, the tackler. Wales, though, still in possession. Falatau. Alan Wynne Jones on the cutback. Webb, dummies, goes, makes ground. Warburton, no dummy, but he goes. Five metres short. Penalty advantage to Wales. Free play. Free play for no free play. Referee has blasted the whistle. It's absolutely ferocious. The defence is immense. The, the, the intensity of the attack. So, well, over 20 phases. Well stayed patient. 20. Gonna end it with three points. Maybe should have had more. The 20 stay, and after you try to win the ball, the first penalty is against 20 minutes. Clear James away. Haskell there, exactly. still got hold of the ball. Yeah. I tell you what, he knows exactly what he's doing. But that was all started a long time ago by really careless restart work. I know it was 20 or 30 ago, but England took the ball. In yeah. off the restart and simply lost it forward. Mike Brown, yeah, the guilty party there. His opposite number, Lee Halfpenny, after a break. Yeah, yeah, great advantage. <laughs> yeah. Jonathan Davis, was that an advantage, ref? That was in his best Clermont French as well, I was. <laughs> Ken Owens heads for the sideline. His day is done, another good game by the Welsh hooker. Lee Halfpenny kicks the penalty, Wales 16-11, the margin back to five points. George Ford, he too has split his forwards, only oh, James, Haskell. James Haskell on the far side. That's well placed, that went daily, though it falls to Jake Ball. Scott Williams sets up the mall. Scott Baldwin is on for Ken Owens. <laughs> Cuthbert heads off in support, brilliantly taken by Joe Launchbury in front of him. No, play the ball, play the ball, play the ball! Away comes Nathan Hughes. Falatau reacted first. Dan Cole sends a pass out to George Ford that he has to stoop. Tackled by Jake Ball. Ford delivers though for Youngs. Jamie George arrives at pace. Tipperick makes the tackle. That's tremendous defence. Here they come again. Haskell. Nicky Smith involved again on the defensive side. Daly, Daly. Launchbury. Seven! Sixteen! No! George Ford. Courtney Laws out in the centre. Scott Williams tries to strip the ball off him. An echo of games past Ford. Jamie George the hooker. England surge into the Welsh 22. Nathan Hughes. Seven, seven. 
Haskell. Ford. Brilliantly picked up by Farrell. Jack Lowell. Back. Youngs. It's George again. He has made an impact, the England yeah. hooker. Ford to Haskell. It's out. Haskell can play the ball. <laughs> Youngs. Noel. The tackle by Nicky Smith. Joe Launchbury. Scott Williams. And Alan Wynne Jones hold him up. They have to let him go. Haskell. Launch brief. Change of direction. Mike Brown. He loses the ball again. Referee has the whistle to his mouth, but he's not sure. He's not sure, he says. And England are a foot short. They drive through the forwards. Youngs has to go digging for it. They've got men over on the right. Interception by Dan Bigger. Bigger chased down Liam Williams outside him. Bigger against Daly. Daly is back. What footballing skills by Daly. Oh, what a game. What a interception. Dan Bigger guessed. And he guessed right. He sold himself. And may have gone all the way. But tell you what, that came from England not recognising that they have players over on the right. He should have gone wide. He should have gone wide earlier. But that doesn't take away from the anticipation of Bigger. It was an all or nothing there for Dan Bigger, and he knew it. They had numbers on the right-hand side. It's a brilliant read, a brilliant read. Just watch. There he goes. He comes off the line quickly. They are, they are dead on the outside. England would score. He's never going to get there. He puts a kick in, he gets set to win, Daly's always going to win it, but defence into attack, brilliant, brilliant read. I tell you, when you look back, I don't know how the game will end, but that well may, may well be the decisive contribution. Daly oh, did well to cover him. Didn't he just? 64 minutes gone, and Daly turned and he made 70 metres back. It's been a very, very tight match, you know, all the way through. Now Wales in an attacking position. Should they go for the three points and just get that little gap between them? Well, it's only a line out for the moment to be taken by Scott Baldwin. Open, open on the mark. On the mark. We have more changes. Ben Teo is on in the centre for England. Try scorer, match winner against France. We have Danny Kerr at scrum half for Ben Youngs. Meanwhile, Scott Baldwin to throw for Wales. Oh, it's a raggedy old line out, but here comes Gareth Davis on for Wales at scrum half. Oh, and not for the first time in this game. A set piece goes wrong. Well, the call was not communicated or misunderstood. No one got off the ground. Captain! Captain! You know, for you as a hooker and, uh, and uh, number eight, Eddie, that would have been frustrating. After the pressure they've been under, they would have needed to secure that line out, keep the ball, and then have a little momentum back for themselves. Well, look, that, that could have created another 20 phases. 16 points to 11. England back on their 22, but with um, the relative comfort of the feed into the scrum. Joe Mahler against Samson Lee. They've met before. Yeah, the less said about that, the better, probably. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Samson. Hello, Joe. Feeds. Ball goes out. Wales spin the scrum illegally. They have a relieving penalty. Across. 
step by step. Yeah. You've got to be squeaky clean there, haven't you, now? Because anything you do is kick out of the ball and the ball goes out. Great. The, the sad thing is, England will now have possession in Wales' half, whereas the clear. Sad if you're ball, Welsh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Oren Farrell made good ground. Go on the line. Stay on the line. Jamie George finds Courtney Laws in with Sam Warburton putting pressure on. England set up the maul. Danger for Wales. It's a mighty maul. James Haskell comes in and joins it. Use it once. Use it now. Kerr comes away with it. Ben Teo. Scott Williams wrestles him to the ground. Laws. Launchbury. Nicky Smith Stay makes on. the tackle. Play on, says the referee. The timing is good. Smith back on his feet. No! Laws again. Samson Lee, the tackler this time. Ah, ah. <laughs> James Haskell <laughs> tramples the referee. <laughs> ben Teo going nowhere. <laughs> Launchbury. Warburton over the ball. No, seven. Can't work the turnover. Care comes away with it. Ford to George, the hooker. Ford, long, it's Hoji outside, Noel cuts in field. Look, Courtney Laws is almost permanently stationed in the middle of the field. Ford, long, Farrell, George. The ball has been stripped clear. England come away with it yet again, but Wales offside, original penalty. Take the points. Tell you what, switch on, switch on everyone. Attack and defence. Nathan I'll Hughes. By 18 red. I have to say, Gus, referee. You want to play? Gus says he's had a nah. very, very good game. He has had a very good very game. Good he's good been game. Uh, virtually anonymous, he's got virtually everything right. No more. I don't know. Owen Farrell is going for the posts. High tackle, Samson Lee. It's common sense by the referee, you know. It's just, yes, it slips up. It's, a, it's one of them accidentals. It's a penalty, nothing else. I wonder at the end of the game how significant the five points that England have missed with the boot will be. They could be highly significant. Ten minutes to go before we have that debate, but uh, I'm sure there are more twists and turns to come. That is dead straight. Owen Farrell narrows the gap. Wales 16, England. 14. Matt Mullen comes on for England into the front row. Off goes Joe Marla. There's the point scorer. Johnny May is on. Jamie Roberts on the other side is on for Wales. Just going across the 10 metre line now. Scott Williams is leaving the field. The clock is not running. Here we go. And number 14, Jack Noel, is replaced by number 23, Johnny May. Scott Williams. Good game. He's had a good game. Had a good game. Teal. Tipper it. Tries to hold him up. Care. Jamie Roberts. 
Out of play, not much ground gained, but set pieces. Don't suppose England will mind them too much. Wales have a little conference about what they're going to do. Kyle Sinclair is on into the England front row. Well, Jamie Roberts is on now, and I'm sure that uh, he's looking forward to running down George Ford's channel. Scott Baldwin, a certain amount of pressure on him. In goes the ball. Warburton wins it. Gareth Davis waits at scrum half. You think now? Here goes Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome Garces is involved in the action. Nicky Smith. Davis to Jake Ball. He's carried well, Jake Ball, isn't he? Change of direction. Bigger. Jamie Roberts, quick hands. Alex Cuthbert. Nicky Smith glides out away from Kyle Sinclair. No, look at him! No. Gareth Davis, and again, Jake Ball. Warburton arrives quickly. Dan Bigger! Joe Launchbury put a good tackle in. Nicky Smith. Slight pause. Gareth Davis organises the direction of play. Still a good line speed from the English defence. Tipper it delivered. Here goes Samson Lee, the prop. Bigger. Cuthbert loses the ball. England through George Ford, but a big boot to it. Justin Tipperick goes back, but first is going to be Lee Halfpenny. And he can dab down for the 22. England desperately wanted that ball to stay in. But they will receive the kickoff or the restart from the 22. Still big but collisions. Wales have taken four minutes off the clock. When you look back at this game and you watch the contributions, Justin Tipperick has been immense. I think launch is immense as well for England. I think Bigger's had a huge game. Bigger, as long as he can downfield. Nathan Hughes. Oh, <laughs> Sam Warburton, he's had an immense game too. The tackle, the tackles all day. Now then, England through Ben Teo. He cut back and the glimpse of the overlap sort of vanished, but England still have it through launch breed. Jonathan Davis tackles him. Liam Williams over the ball tries to counter ruck. Haskell. Sam Warburton's carrying an injury after that, just watch. Farrell, Tio, Tio still going. Inside him is Danny Kerr. Kerr cuts back. Great tackle. Alex Cuthbert with an all important tackle for Wales. Try saving tackle. Jamie George. England in the Wales 22 launch spree, tackled by Falatau. Brown. Care. It's going to be Johnny May. He what? can't get there. Wales can't get him into touch. Etoje delivers. Sinclair driven back. Wales. Saw the ball go loose. Liam Williams has turned oh, it over. Right, turn over. The biggest roar of the day as possession goes from England to Wales. Alan Wynne Jones. Wales in no rush, but at some stage they're going to have to clear their lines. Jonathan Davis straight down the field towards George Ford. Back come England. Farrell. Elliot Daly. Cuthbert chases him down. Constant out of tactic or mistake, whatever you say, not to put the ball off the field. 
from Wales. They've done it all game, and this time they've been made to pay. Rob Howe can't believe it. I can't understand. You've got to clear it has the line. to go in. off the field from there. You've got to kick it into touch. They kick it in midfield, OK? And just watch, they come across. And Alex Cuthbert shows Daly the outside, and he takes it. He's got to make the tackle. It's a great finish by Elliot Daly. Even that, with the ball in the wrong hand. Yeah, that had to go across the touchline. If you're going to keep the ball in play, you've got to have your chases. In like, when you're under pressure, and that was a pressure ball, it has to go off the field just to give you time to recoup, just to give you time to recover. Now it's a, a big kick coming up from Farrell, because if this goes over, we also have to score a try to draw. Owen Farrell to extend the lead England have just taken through Elliot Daly. ahead, Wales have to score a try, Corey Hill comes off the bench for Wales. Two and a half minutes to go, Dan Bigger, one for the forwards to chase, up goes the outstanding Joe Launchbury. Wales win the ball through Jake Ball, who has been just as industrious. Alan Wynne-Jones, the captain. Gareth Davis, the new player on the field, Corey Hill. Davis tries to eject some pace. Scott Baldwin. No scrum half at the moment. Nicky Smith. Takes it on. Ball. With Courtney Laws hanging on to him. Samson Lee. Farrell does well against a prop there. Don't do him. Falatau. Itoji rolls away from it. Alwyn Jones. Still through the forwards, Wales, Alan Wynne jones still has the strength to power forward. Jamie Roberts. The try will level the scores. Jonathan Davis. Penalty to England. Kyle Sinclair has won them the penalty. He may well have won them the match. We have to find out who is the man of the match. Well, I think, you know, it's some outstanding contributions today. I thought that Itoji's played well, you know, Tipperick, Moriarty, done bigger. But for me, head and shoulders above everyone else has been the England second row, Joe Launchbury. He has been immense, carrying, kicking, just brilliant Seven performance. There is line-out work for the man of the match to do. There is time for Wales, for England, sorry, through Jamie George to put it into the line-out. Nobody is rushing in white to this line-out. The line-outs have been good. Amazing stat, eight to one turnovers to Wales. England know, yeah. can win this and kick it off the park. But England are going to win again. Danny Kerr. It has been an outstanding game of rugby. Eddie Jones's team remain unbeaten. 15 games go to 16 games. England have beaten Wales at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff. Wales 16, England 21. And it shows again, if you do not put this England side away, when you are on top, they will make you pay. They've done it again. Outplayed for large parts of this game, and yet when it came down to taking the opportunity, 
that was vital was presented, they created it from a poor Walsh kick, and they found a way to win again. Ben Teo had a big impact when he came on as well. I just felt they looked far more threatening with ball in hand, England. They put width on it, you know, they run the short balls, the inside balls, and they looked very, very dangerous. And when the opportunity came, they took it. And that was the, the difference, just was they were so clinical in the opportunities they had. Wales had a lot of possession, a lot of territory, a brilliant try in the first half, but unfortunately couldn't turn that pressure into points.